you have things like spirograph, which make the lovely designs that you can see endlessly mm. fascinating. Pop art and things. Yes. Yeah. Again, uh, with a mathematical basis, which the older child appreciates. And there's a, a younger set, too, called Spiro Tops, which is here. Well, this is for the sort of four to seven-year-olds. A little less complicated. A little less complicated. It requires quite a lot of coordination to use the adult, the, the senior spirograph, which is for children mm -hmm. from seven or eight up. You don't think that gets in the way of their imagination by having to go through prescribed diagrams? No, because there are so many variations and combinations, and you can work on it yourself and Good. be creative with it. This is the thing that's still my favorite. I don't know. I can hardly wait till my child gets to the age where she's using it plasticine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <no. laughs> you know, it's just very simple and, and quite cheap, and it, it doesn't make a mess, and it's very creative. Wonderful stocking stuffer, and you'll get hours and hours of play out of that one little package. Mm -hmm. Well, let's move along, if we've done this table well, to the bigger toys, which are probably going to be accounting for a big bulk of a lot of uh, purchase around Christmas time as the kids get a little older, and we come to the terrible question of how do you know... Remember the lady mentioned that she had toys that she thought were terrific because they went yeah. all the way down from the oldest to the youngest child, from seven to two, I think it was. How do you know if a toy is going to be durable? Well, the first principle that the Canadian Toy Testing recommends is know your child. Yeah. Know his abilities, know his capabilities, know his weak spots, if you want to encourage action in that. And then you have to really be an informed consumer and look at what you're buying, look at the construction. Try and guess what the durability is going to be like. Is the material right for the type of toy it is? Mm -hmm. What sort of use is it going to get? Uh, that's a prime example. As you I'm can see, it's, it's a combination of plastic and metal and very sturdily made. The axles are well attached. The wheels are well attached. That should get a good deal of play, both indoors and out, by that sort of three to six-year-old and be greatly enjoyed. And it's absolutely flexible, this little steering wheel That's is all right. switchy. But maybe a child wouldn't like that. A very realistic child would say, well, Daddy, my, your steering wheel doesn't do that. Why should Well, I? can I tell you? Don't mm -hmm. worry about it. Because that's a dune buggy, and my little boy is four. Loves, he's got, most of anything that he's got is our little cars, and he loves them, and he can identify them, and that doesn't bother him a bit. It it's a kind of a one-up. My mine can do that. You keep hitting yours, Daddy. Ha, ha, ha. I win, you know. This is for a smaller child, I guess. That's for, for quite a young child, and it's a good, very good size for block accessory play, yeah. as you can see. You can really put things in that little wagon. Mm -hmm. uh, you and can bang it. Yes. <laughs> well, nothing happens Drop up there. It. it easily attached together. And great big rubber tread. You know, not a big little rubber silly tread. little rubber band. No, no that's, that's a very sturdy little toy. You should get several years of play mm -hmm. out of that for several children. But little, little parts, I must warn you, uh, I must warn you, I've found that they get lost. The treads come off and they get lost. So you've got to combine that with don't forget to put them away. That's up to you to provide some decent yeah. storage, don't yeah. you think? You can't oh. expect to give a child one toy box and throw everything into it and expect him to keep his toys in good condition. You should provide shelves, boxes, containers. I'll show you pictures of his room later. And <laughs> <laughs> well, look, good now, point. This is a great big game. Play? Uh, well, I don't play hockey, but maybe... Oh, I'm on your... Why am I on your side? Oh. Well, uh, oh, maybe it's a two-person game. I got oh, the you know that you can't get it away. Someone has a man on the wrong stand. Yes. It's yeah, quite I think all so. right. This Oop. makes a very realistic uh, game this a, indeed. Is this a good investment for a child? Do you like this kind of game? Yes, it seems this to be will last so for a long time, and the age range is, you know, even quite young boys, five and six. As a matter of fact, they can play it with their fathers. The father will just handicap himself and remove his goalie. Uh, and then, then that puts them on equal terms. One, uh, one little thing here is an improvement over when I used to play this. Uh, as a kid, 108 years ago, was that the puck is magnetic That's and sticks uh -huh. to the players. That's you can right. stick handle. Can, you can yeah. stick handle it. It adds yeah. greatly to the realism. Uh -huh. And you think that that doesn't... That to me, you see, going into a shop, I wouldn't buy that because it looks as though it could break down very flimsy. easily. Yeah, yeah, very flimsy. Well, it's quite sturdy. I can tell you we're still playing with the original one mm. that my son got when he was seven and he's now 14. Mm -hmm. So... 